All right, so today we're going to look at the Inuit. Now, when we are looking at these five tribes, there's a number of things that I want you to really focus on and remember. First of all, let's take a look at you know their human resources, their capital resources, or natural resources of each of the tribes. Try to keep that those in, in mind as we go through, uh, as well as their location, their geography. Remember where they live, <coughs> And that's going to influ influence uh, what they do, um, what they use uh, in order to survive. So we're going to start with the Inuit. And the Inuit are up here, <coughs> excuse me, in Alaska and Canada. And uh, so obviously it's very cold. And they're going to have to figure out how to survive up there. So uh, how do they do that? The uh, Arctic animals are the key. Uh, what kind of animals live up way up there in the north? Well, you've got Alaskan huskies, you've got Mamluk dogs, you have seals, whales, uh, polar bears. So they, these are what they're going to use in order to survive. And they do it in a, in a very fantastic way. Uh, uh, just amazing that, that people would figure this out. First of all, their uh, mode of transportation. They had two basic modes of transportation uh, when they traveled over land they use the Alaskan Husky and Mamelit dogs and they would make these sleds and the dogs would pull the sleds and they'd move around over the land um, because it was it, there's snow and you're able to do that sort of thing otherwise you have to walk. The other mode of transportation is the kayak. They made these special kayaks uh, first of all when, when it's cold if you get wet you're in trouble so they made these kayaks to try to make sure that the water did not get in the boat and did not get on the person. Uh, if it got splashed, it would just flow off the boat. So that was very important for them. So they've made these kayaks uh, to help them move around in the water because they relied quite a bit on the water. Uh, and when you're way up north there, there is actually very good fishing. So, and then obviously you got these big things, these whales right up here. So they are going to go in the water to get quite a bit of their food. Uh, obviously, farming is not an, an easy thing way up north. It's very difficult to uh, create a, a mode of agriculture. So they're going to rely on, on going after these animals. Uh, so they use the, the dogs to pull their sleds. And then they use the animals for clothing. Here are the capital goods. Uh, they would use the natural resource such as seals. Um, they would make seal skin pants uh, for the summer. In the winter, they would rely on, on things like caribou to make a heavier fur. But probably the most important thing, one thing I really want you to remember is this word right here, parkas. Parkas are specially made. They're almost like rain jackets. Uh, what they would do is they would take the intestines of seals, whales, or sea lions, and then they would wash them, inflate them, hang them to dry. And what these, these uh, these parkas would do is that it would anything anytime they would get wet it would just go right off them like a rain jacket however they would breathe so that the person inside when they get hot and sweaty they're running around doing things hunting whatever their moisture inside would be allowed to escape so it kept the moisture out but also allowed the moisture from inside to get out and that's important because if you've ever been out in the cold and you start sweating, that sweat gets on your skin, it starts to freeze, and then you're in trouble. You get hypothermia. So that was very important uh, bit of technology that the Inuit were able to figure out that allowed them to survive so well in the north. So that was very, very important. Uh, so they would uh, hunt these animals for obviously for food, um, well, they didn't hunt dogs. They used them for transportation, very important animals in human history. Uh, but they would go after walruses, seals for food and clothing uh, to help them out. One thing that I want to point out is their shelters. They used the whale bones. The whale, you know, if they got a whale, boy, that was a big deal. It would, it would feed the, uh, the town for months at a time, and they'd be able to take the bones and set up a structure for their homes, which they needed uh, then they would cover it with uh, animal skins and grass uh, to protect them from the harsh elements. So that's the Kwakiutl. They live up in the north, up here in Alaska and northern Canada. And they had specific clothing and modes of transportation and housing.